Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your, uh, on your June 2016 general tarot forecast. If you would like a private reading with me, all the details are below, should be somewhere around here, going across the screen. Also, you can join me on Facebook, details should be somewhere around here. I'll also leave them as a link below. Um, and also your life spread reading will be coming up. That's where I concentrate on five key areas of your life. And I'll be looking at that between the month of June, flowing through to the end of the year, December 2016. So keep your eyes peeled for that as well. And that should be showing somewhere around here, I feel. Okay, so let's shuffle the cards and see what's coming in for Gemini. Now, Gemini, just to let you know, there's been a bit of an adjustment to the readings and how I do the spread now. Um, basically, I lay out the same spread, so it's two cards at the top, one card at the bottom to serve as your advice card, and eight cards in the middle to serve as the people, energy, situations that could be potentially coming in for the month of um, uh, June 2016. However, what I now do at the end of the reading is pull clarifying cards for each set of two cards, okay? So it's for the two general uh, cards in the general meaning, or the general energies for the month, and the eight cards, so each card set of two has a clarification and what I find is is that even though I will go through the reading just normally what I can see I will then add clarification cards at the end just to open the reading up a bit because certain areas won't apply to certain people okay and so if I open the reading up a little bit by adding clarifiers okay and the clarifiers how I do the clarifiers within this reading is the clarifiers serve so really what I'm talking about first in the reading is the outcome of a situation in a way uh, in June because the clarifiers will serve as the reason why we have the two the sets of two cards if that makes sense you'll see what I mean so here we go universe spirit show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Gemini show me Gemini show me Gemini some moon and rising signs show me Gemini Gemini some moon and rising signs for the month of June 2016 Show me Gemini. What's coming in for those born underneath the zodiac sign of Gemini for June 2016? Show me. Show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Gemini. June 2016. Show me Gemini for June 2016. I'm going to, I'm shuffling the cards universe at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in a moment, stop shuffling. Split the cards into three. Put the cards on the table. Split the cards into three. Piles of three. Collect them back up. And I'd like you to show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Gemini over the next month, June 2016. I'd like you to show me the two top cards to reflect the general energies for the month for Gemini 2000. Uh, yeah, I'd like you to show me what's coming in for Gemini over June 2016. Please reflect the two top cards to show the general energies for the month for Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising signs. For June 2016. I'd like you to show me the bottom card to serve as the advice card for Gemini's over June 2016. I'd like you to show me the eight cards in the middle of the deck to show me the people, situations, events, energies that could be coming in for Gemini over the month of June 2016. Um, and also at the end the clarifiers just to open up the reading a little bit just to see if there are any changes in some of the energies that will apply to other Geminis. So show me Gemini. Show me Gemini. What's coming in for Gemini? Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for June 2016. Show me. Okay. So I have shuffled the cards as much as I can, Gemini, and I'm going to split the deck into three. Collect it back up. And we're going to put down the two top cards. One from the bottom. And I'm not going to turn over the eight cards just yet. I'm going to discuss the uh, general energies first, along with the advice card. And we'll pull the clarifiers at the end. And then the eight cards we'll discuss afterwards, okay? That's interesting. Okay, you know, Gemini, I don't really want to do, or I don't really like doing on YouTube readings where it shows conflicts and situations, but it's my duty as a tarot reader not to lie on readings. I can't. I just can't do it. Um, 
it's uncomfortable for me to try and gloss over situations. I don't really want to gloss over anything. So, you know, the general energy so far is not looking great. The, um, and the, uh, the advice card is not looking great for the month of June, all right? So don't shoot the messenger. I just meditate on the cards and what comes out, comes out. It's as simple as that. And also it's a general reading. So things just aren't going to apply to everyone. And to be honest with you, even though it doesn't look great, the clarifier might show something that is not so bad. So your advice card for the month is the Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords can mean many things. It can mean that there's conflicts in situations that could be happening around you. Uh, Five of Swords is not one of the nicest cards in the deck, but it also strengthens you as an individual because uh, the Five of Swords is to do with um, being defeated and also being the person that defeats. It can be in terms of an energy about self-defeating thoughts, okay? So you can be thinking quite negatively and what you are thinking negatively actually happens. So it manifests. It's all in the power of the thoughts that you have in order, you know, in creating your reality. Uh, it can be a card of massive struggles with others. So you get this reading, you get this card in a reading um, and it could show, for example, co-workers battling, family battling, friends not on good terms. If you get it in a love reading, the Five of Swords can mean uh, very kind of destructive verbal communication, uh, people who play mind games, okay, to overcome the opponent. But really the card is based in futile arguments because one moment somebody wins and the next moment somebody else wins. But at the heart of it, nobody actually wins anything. It was a futile fight. It, it didn't need to happen. It was a bit pointless. It was all about power games and, and trying to achieve polar positions. So potentially for some of you guys, it could be a situation with some conflict with others, external conflict or struggle because the swords are struggle cards. They are. But there are also cards about the way that we think and how we communicate with each other. So it could show some fairly uh, difficult uh, communication with others, potentially not being on the same page, not seeing eye to eye. It could also mean that you win a victory because it can be a card of winning a victory as well. Um, I do feel that, that in the month of uh, June, um, Gemini, you are anticipating something off maybe a defeat or your... Uh, anticipating or you're expecting something to fall okay or something to uh reveal itself to you even potentially okay now if you're expecting something to reveal itself for you it could mean with the five of swords that you actually win something here okay so maybe there's someone who you are uh uh expecting to show their true colors or you're expecting something to be revealed about them potentially uh, and this is why we have the Five of Swords energy here, because it means that you overcome your opponent. It means that you win the day because they have been defeated by their own uh, sense of power, which in effect has built them up, because uh, has uh, broken them down. Because we do have the tower as the first general energy that shows here. But what's interesting is, is that we have the Three of Wands right door next to it. And it's as if this man, if you look at these two cards together, can you see how he looks over at the tower? So it's, the Three of Wands is always the card of expecting something to come to you. So you're waiting for something to happen. And it's almost like you're waiting for the tower to fall. Does that make sense to you? Because as I said, uh, I don't know whether I said this, when you read tarot, a good way to start reading tarot is to look at each card and look at the keywords for each card. So you get a combination and then you say, tower is the tower, something falling. And then Three of Wands is expectation. So expecting the tower to fall, or tower, revelation, three of wands, waiting, waiting for a revelation. Does that make sense to you? So it's almost like you're waiting for a revelation, or you're waiting for a secret or something to be exposed, because I'm looking, Gemini, over at this guy, and he's looking directly at the tower. So he's expecting something to fall apart. Now, it could be a good thing. Okay, it could be that you're waiting for a surprise, potentially. Okay, because the tower can be unexpected news, or it can be unexpected communication, or it can be that somebody reveals something to you. All right, so, but I feel with this Five of Swords uh, energy here, I don't know whether this is something that you are waiting for in order to overcome uh, or win against. An opponent. I don't know whether you're waiting for something to be revealed about someone or someone to show themselves up, show their true colours. 
But it's almost like you look at a situation and you can see that it is not all it appears to be. And you're just waiting for the moment that it falls apart because you know that it doesn't have the foundation to last, if that makes any sense. So with the Five of Swords advice card, it could be that you are waiting to overcome something here or you're waiting for someone to be overcome, potentially. But we'll have a look at the other stuff, okay? Let's see the first two cards. Well, we can see in the first two cards, they're both number three cards. We've got three number threes in this reading. Now, when you get number threes in a reading, they're all about the development of something, okay? Uh, threes are about growth, expansion, development. They're about uh, communication. So for some of you guys, you might have been waiting for some sort of communication to open up to you. And maybe with the Five of Swords as your advice card, it allows you to overcome some doubts that you might have had. So it might not all be, you know, skullduggery. It's not all about school duggery or underhandedness, but not saying that you guys are being underhanded, um, Gemini, but for some of you, you might be waiting for some news to come to you, okay? Uh, you might be waiting for something, a channel to open up to you. There might have been something that you have been trying to get into or something that you have been trying to uh, infiltrate that might have been shut up to you for a long time because it's very difficult to get into towers. And when this tower here had, used to have the roof on its top but the roof has come off which suggests that something is now opened up now yes there are people falling from that tower but that just suggests that something is being revealed to you you get the answer that you are actually seeking so for some of you guys you might be waiting on an answer here and it's actually comes to you and maybe there were some doubts around having this come to you and the Bible of swords says you know it is now the relinquishing of doubt something like that but we do have the three of pentacles here and this is something that you've been working on so I can see that you guys potentially in the month of June have been working towards something. You've been working on developing something because this person, he looks like he's been working on plans. He's working on development. He's working on developing something because we also have this potion here. It's also the, the, the number of magic, the number three is. So he's working on some form of magic. He looks, he's working on creating something quite magical. We have the Empress as well. This again is a card about working and developing our ideas. Okay, it's a card about trying to bring something to fruition or success, but it is also the card of waiting, all right, because the Empress is pregnant and she's waiting to give birth to a child. Okay, so I do feel that though things are in development here, I do feel that there's a sense of waiting, and I can see this with the Three of Wands. I feel that you're waiting for something to, over, to uh, open up for you, because the Empress can also be the card of frustration. Okay, and it's almost like it's saying you're working on something with the Three of Pentacles and you're waiting for the birth of it. You're waiting for it to be born, to be realised. And we could say the same thing for the Three of Wands and facing that tower. It's almost like you've been waiting for something to be realised in the month of June. And it's finally, it must open up to you because the tower is open, the mouth is open of the tower. So something does open up to you, but it might not come in the way that you expected it to, potentially. So we'll get the other two cards. That's interesting. I do sense a lot of frustration here in the month of June for some of you Gemini people, if I'm being completely honest. Because we've got the Five of Pentacles showing up here. Now, Five of Pentacles, if I look at this card, and even on the Rider Waite, we always see snow. Now, when you get cold weather, nothing can grow. There is, you know, there's no harvest. You can't, you know, you can't bring things to life. You know, everything is dead. The trees don't have any leaves on them. Um, there is no, na you know, nature flying around. Everything except for birds. Maybe the birds that can survive in winter time. So it suggests desolation. And I feel that maybe some of you guys, you know, you've been waiting for something to open up to you. And because it's not opening up maybe as fast as you would like, that there is a sense of... Uh, what's the word? A, not a sense of failure, but a sense of not feeling grounded or not feeling... Because the Five of Pentacles can often mean where you feel excluded or where you feel major blockages or where you feel that you don't have any support or any help or where you feel that you're out there on your own. It, it, this card, though, almost suggests that there is no life. But there is something starting to open up slightly because we have a white uh, lily. I think it's a lily. 
okay even though the head is down on the lily okay it says that when this thing is ready to sprout it's ready to sprout but now is not the time i look at this card and in my head it just feels like gemini it's saying now is not the time because it's not time for this it's not the the right time for this to happen okay so for some of you guys i do see a lot of waiting you're waiting for something to happen in june you've been waiting for something to happen and i see this with the three of wands facing that tower waiting for the mouth to open up waiting for the lid on that tower to kind of open up and reveal itself. It's almost like you're waiting for some communication that hasn't been coming to you for quite a while. We also have the moon card here. So the moon card is seeking clarity, but it's also where you are feeling in the dark about something. It's also where you are trying to seek the light. You're trying to find the light. It can be a card of deception because things might look one way by the light of the moon, but in the daylight you can see things clearly. So it's a card about trying to see things clearly. Um, you know, these are two kind of negative cards in a way. But, you know, you can see with this woman here, she has a light to guide her. So she's not totally in darkness, okay? So I do feel that there is some hope here. And I'm looking at just at the fire that she holds and the snow that is here. So this might be you guys trying to work out ways how you kind of dissolve or thaw this time where there's a sense of inactivity. It's almost like you're looking at ways of how you can get something rocking and rolling. Because it seems that something has come to a standstill for some of you guys here. And I feel that this five of swords, the more I look at the reading, could be that there's a lot of self-doubt with you guys in the month of June. Because it's almost like you're waiting for something to open up to you. Uh, fire, thaws, snow. Anything hot will fall, snow out. So it will melt it. I feel that you're looking to melt something, uh, a, a barren time. A time where, I don't know whether there's a lack of money or there's a lack of um, interest in something. But it, it suggests that something that you have been working on, okay. For some of you guys, it might be something around the home because the Three of Pentacles can be suggestive of something to do with the home. Making plans, developments around the home. And the Empress is usually a homebody, so she usually, you know, decorates her home, makes things look really nice. It could be something around the home. But it does to me suggest that, you know, you have put things in action with the Three of Pentacles, you're developing stuff, now you're waiting for something to be born, to be realised. However, it seems that this thing is very barren, there's no activity really around it. And you might be scratching your head and thinking, how do I kind of get things moving again? Because sometimes where there's heavy snowfall, as you see on the news, nothing can move. You know, the traffic comes to a standstill, certainly here in the UK, clothes, school, uh, uh, schools clothes close, you know, life seems to stop when there's heavy snow. So it seems like life has stopped somewhere along the line with this five of pentacles. Some of you guys might be facing some financial hardship because of this. But I do feel with that fire in that lady's hands, it's almost like you're trying to find a way to melt the snow. So you're trying to find a way to get something moving again. Okay. You know, the Queen of Wands shows up for you, Gemini. And this isn't you. And the Empress shows up with that as well. Now, the Queen of Wands is a real go-getter of a queen. She's a real kind of... Um, she's a real kind of... Very busy, very confident lady here. And I feel that the energy of this is making things happen. Because she's the classic woman that makes things happen, okay? But I still feel that there is this thought process that maybe uh, something is holding you back from making something happen here because we have the Eight of Swords sitting next to her, okay? Because on the one, and again, we see fire and we see cold, okay? Now, this isn't snow, but the colours are virtually the same as that Five of Pentacles, if you look at those two cards. So again, it's almost like you're trying to make something happen here in the month of June, I feel something's come to a standstill here, okay? And I feel the general energy is that you are waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for something to open up to you with the tower card. You're waiting. It could be from some communication, maybe worldwide communication, because the three of wands can be whereby uh, it's worldwide uh, uh, messages. It's dealing with people from different uh, countries. It's international transactions, that type of thing. So I do feel that for some of you guys, you might be waiting for something, uh, some communication maybe from someone, a business organisation, something like that, from abroad. Uh, it's a time of just waiting for something to open up, okay? 
but I, I feel that it's like something is not coming to you in the month of June and you're trying to find ways around opening something up here or thawing the problem because the Queen of Wands is a very busy card she's a very busy energy okay and you know the key word for her for me is making things happen literally making things happen because she's fire but the Ace of Swords suggests that there's still blockages around this here, this woman is free. She makes things happen. But here, this woman is trapped because she feels that she can't make it happen. She's stuck for ideas. Because though the ideas are around her, she feels the inability to make it happen. So it might be that you've got uh, lots of ideas going on, but you don't really know which direction to point them into. You don't really know where to kind of start. And it's funny because we have two sword cards here and they're both ideas cards. Uh, we have the page of swords that shows here. The page of swords is all about new fresh ideas but they're young. Okay, So you've got to be careful with page of swords energy. Because the pages you remember are immature so it can be immature ideas. Okay, It can be ideas that are not developed. And this is why I feel that you guys will be wanting to take a risk or you'll be ready to strike on something here. Okay. Because I feel that it's almost like it's saying to me in this reading, it's now or never, okay? This thing isn't moving. I've already put things into, you know, development. And I'm waiting for something to happen here with the Empress. But still nothing is happening. It's almost like everything's frozen over. Everything's come to a standstill. I don't understand why, okay? The Moon card, I am seeking clarity. I have this guiding light of fire next door to me. I'm trying to find my way through. But also, maybe I have the bright spark of an idea. Maybe I can thaw or melt this inactive time and get something started up again. We see that you are geared with the Queen of Wands, perhaps to make something happen. However, there might be, uh, it could be other people around you who are holding you back, because the Eight of Swords sometimes means other people's ideas are actually stopping you from moving forward. Or it could be your own sense of fear, maybe, that stops you. That maybe something won't work. Maybe you feel trapped. Maybe you feel that you ha don't have many options here. Even though there are lots of ideas sitting around you. However, it seems that you may do something that has not been tested. Because the Page of Swords is about young, untested, immature ideas. Because he's swords. But he's willing to take a risk. He's willing to strike. Okay? Even if it doesn't work out. And it seems with the Queen of Swords... You put that process, or you start putting that process into action, because she's the woman who is, uh, she makes a resolve. She basically says, okay, right, I've decided, now we're going to do it. So it's almost like there's, you have to do something in order to get something in the month of June. And this is why I feel now we see the Five of Swords. It is overcoming the doubt, because there's a lot of doubt in here, because things seem to have frozen up, because you are waiting for something to open up to you. The Tower, Revelation, Three of Wands, waiting, waiting for something to open up to you. Okay, let's get some clarification cards on these areas. Well... Queen of Wands and that Eight of Swords, I feel the basis, when I draw the clarification cards, just to remind you again, it's, for me, the clarification cards in this reading are the reason why we have those two top cards, okay? They're the reason for it. So they're the foundation of the problem, and this is the outcome, what you are trying to do. So the foundation of the problem, or the issue, or the reason for that Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Wands. You're trying to protect something here, I feel, in the month of June. Which is why you're ready to try and make something happen. But maybe you have reached a bit of a stalemate. Maybe. And you look at this Nine of Wands, sometimes you get that card and it means that you're sensing trouble. Okay, You're sensing trouble from others. So you're needing to defend your territory. You're needing to fight your corner. It's a card of fighting, but it's also a card of perseverance. And we can see that the Queen of Wands is a real trooper because she perseveres with stuff. In order to make things happen. She will do a hundred things at the same time. Because she just wants to get the job done. Okay. She uses her confidence. Her ambitious. Her ambition. Her go-getting nature. To get the job done. That's what she does. 
She's a very proactive person. So I see you being very proactive, but something, it could be other people's ideas that are holding you back. And the reason for this, that Queen of Wands being proactive, but feeling a sense of being held back, is because you are trying to protect your territory. There's something that you have already developed that you are trying to protect, I feel here. But I feel that it might be other people or it might be a situation here that is holding you back from being able to move forward. So you need to find another way around it. Well, strength is the foundation for the Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Now, when you get strength, it means that you're having to be, feel a sense of inner confidence, okay? So, it seems to me that there has been a sense of having to feel, be restrained, okay, in terms of the situation. In other words, you're having to trust the situation here, okay? Because the strength card is not only about patience, but it's also about the inner wisdom that we have to know that if something is not happening when we want it to happen, uh, Gemini, that we need to trust that we will overcome the issue. Now, the strength card is about, at the root of it, is about overcoming something here. So I feel that you've been trying to overcome something, okay? And what it seems to be is that you have been looking at developing something, even if, with the strength card, you have been finding it difficult to climb a certain mountain, it seems that you still are trying to develop something here. And with the Empress, you're just waiting for it to flourish. The strength card could mean that a lot of hard work has been put into this. You've been very focused, you've been very disciplined. I feel that you have been very disciplined in your approach to a particular plan. And now you are waiting for something to open up to you in the month of June. you know you may have been overly ambitious potentially because we have the six of wands here now the six of wands is a great card but the reason it suggests for this five of pentacles and the moon is the six of wands okay so for some of you guys it might have been a case whereby you were so certain of something happening because the six of wands is about a very kind of ambitious confident warrior he conquers stuff He's fearless and he 100% believes in himself. You get this six of wands that describes a man, it can mean that he is overly self-assured. And I feel for some of you guys, you've been so self-assured about something. However, we do see with the five of pentacles here that maybe what it was, if this is the reason for this, maybe you went to do something too fast. Or maybe you would, you put too much into something potentially because the five of pentacles can also mean a loss of money. All right. And maybe you're trying to find a way around this loss of money or the loss of something or some sort of financial deprivation. But it seems that for some of you guys, it might have come off your own doing, if that makes any sense. Because the six of wands would suggest that, uh, you know, you're quite confident, you've been quite ambitious in making something happen, in challenging and conquering something. Alternatively, the Six of Wands can be where somebody makes you an offer. So for some of you guys, it might be that somebody external has offered you something, but it has led to this Five of Pentacles. So it could be somebody that said, you know, let's go for this, or let's go for this. It would be a really good idea. Seriously, we'd have loads of followers, we'd have loads of supporters, everybody would be behind us. But suddenly, whatever it was that you were developing, whatever it is that you absolutely trusted in and, and you focused on, and that you've been waiting to manifest, because of this card, the Six of Wands, which would suggest that it's either you, or it could be somebody else that you were working with, has said, you know, let's really go for this, because this would be a brilliant idea. It would suggest that this probably didn't turn out the way that you expected it to. And there's been a lot of doubt around this probably even some depression for some of you Geminis. Hence, maybe something has been at, uh, at risk because the Nine of Wands is the foundation for that Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. And it suggests 
with the eight, nine of wands, you need to protect something here at all costs. Okay, you're standing up for something. You're defending your territory. So with the Queen of Wands, it would seem, Gemini, that maybe for some of you guys, you're trying to make something happen, okay? You're, you know, you're using your intelligence and your confidence to actually go out there and potentially even take on several jobs or whatever it is to try and make the funds or to try and get this thing going. This thing that whoever it is, you or somebody else said to you would work, but doesn't seem to be working out so much. And it seems that, I don't know whether you feel everything is against you with the Eight of Swords, but you, you know, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like a, what's that saying? Something about die trying. I think it's a 50 cents saying or something, but you know, you'll fight to the death, it seems, for something here, or you'll wait to the end of the earth. two cards that flipped out we had justice and the page of pentacles or the page of pentacles and justice whichever way you want to look at them it would suggest here that you've been trying to look at something quite responsibly and with the justice card it suggests that you're looking for results so I, this would make sense to me as well it would seem that with this because you are looking at something quite responsibly the page of pentacles says that we're looking at something in such a responsible and methodical way, we're looking at how we can grow something or make something work. And with justice, we're looking at the results of that. So whatever it is that you put in, put in to this situation, you are expecting to get some results out of it. And I can see how that would work because the Page of Swords says to me that you have a fresh idea on this or if you're taking a fresh approach on how you can deal with this situation here. And the Queen of Swords says, okay, I've made my decision, now I'm ready to go to war and put this into action. Interesting. And we'll get the final clarification card, Gemini. Well, there you go. The Hermit is the foundation for the Tower and the Three of Wands you are seeking. You are seeking help. You're seeking clarity, so I can see how that would work. If you are the hermit and you are seeking the light in a dark time, Gemini, then it means with that three of wands facing the tower, you are seeking something to open up to you, to reveal itself to you. Because in the month of June, your advice is you are trying to overcome doubt. Whoa. Well, let me know what you think about the new system of reading. I really like doing it like this. I feel it opens it up a bit more. Very, very interesting. You'll have to let me know, but I really like doing it like this. That's your reading, Gemini. I know it's been lengthy, but I've really enjoyed doing that. Uh, let me know how you get on. Let me know what you think about the reading. If it resonates with any of you guys, let me know. But have a great day, and I will be back with your live spread reading. Take care. Bye-bye.